close, deadly, and magical demons. We must praise this game, which is called Castlevania IV on the Super Nintendo. Why? Well, because the import of the art of this game is incredible. It's like walking through a maze. It's a masterpiece. And you know what I mean by that. It is still continuing on more series. Here's a review of gameplay. Thusly, the gameplay is humanly remarkable. It has so much variety with the controls of the Shattering game. I can't deep for the controls right now, but if you want, buy the game for on eBay for whatever price the eBay seller sells for. It could be 20 bucks, it could be 30 bucks, you never know. Or if you have a slightly new Wii console, buy this game for 800 Wii points on the Wii Shop channel. Now back to the wise gameplay. I really love how the intro starts. It's all quieter than the first ones on the NES system. It makes it quite rejoice when you enter the castle's gate. The music is pumped up and a radical ending is waiting for you. Let's shut. Let's start with the levels. You have the first level, where you're gradually in a first kingdom-like castle. Enemies such as bony horses, bony skeletons, bony dragon stilts, and the famous floating Medusa heads. The second level is a garden of poison, where we have flying ghosty spiders, frogs that are poisonous, and deathly zombies attacking your whip because they sure like whipped cream. And not the white stuff. Blood. Tasty blood. Since I won't go any further, there are ten levels, which is one for three part levels, or if just counting the bosses, it's just exactly ten levels, and a bunch of cordy levels in one. The thing that I really like about this genre in this game is the govern art and Japanese style weapons. Plus the chicken makes a fence fancy delivery. If you die in the spike pills, too bad for your luck of change. I give gameplay a 10.0. Story. There really isn't a story, so I count that out. Just because it's really the gameplay and the hard lifting graphics. Orderly, this game would have been nice if Dracula would have put some dialogue at the end of the level, base level. That's about it. Controls. In a small sprite of hate, there really isn't a shortage of long lasting buttons. Unknown to say, everything lives up to the edge. Foremost is a pleasure to have decent controls, such as the whip button, the extra whip button, the jump button, and even the directional button. I give controls a 10.0. It's just Konomi never stops giftly controls for us to imagine with, I guess. Graphics. Graphics is the main resource right now in video game history. Look at Super Mario Galaxy. Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. Reviews in HD, stuff like that. Back to graphics. The levels are decent composure to nice visual effects. Very observing and comical for art that you just love, such as emo art. The books have universal motions, which is bosses, in my opinion, and can quick you up with the hit. The everything that combined with swamps, castle quarters, caves, waterfalls, dungeons, treasuries, and more levels you can't wait to discover. Search all the glitches. There might be a few, but that's okay. Not every game's perfect. A 10.0 for my Halle Berry of hate. Now the music. The music is really rhythmical. That really makes you want to spill out a big old Jericho in your mouth. It's just like that. Music is a great, despicable thing you'll never realize in your entire life. It's just that simple. The music is just great, okay? Like the end credits for once, the beginning where you're entering the castle, the Dracula boss battle. I mean, every the whole soundtrack is requestingly good. You just gotta buy this now. The music is good. If you wanna buy it for the music, buy it for the music. That's what you do. You have to be very prepared and do all that stuff. Even though you don't like skeletons and zombies and all that crap, well, forget about that. The music has a really decent, quietest, little nasty, little frying pan of goodness. And that's what I give 10.0 for the music. Conclusion. That time has about to be ended. But what about what I think about the game? Well, that's an extra offer I'll take as a threat. This game, the number one game on Super Nintendo, is number one. Exactly. 
the music, the gameplay, the bosses, the enemies, everything that combines the game makes it a really mystical piece. But really, Super Castlevania IV, a very liquid game of satisfying people to emblems of roses. It's, it's that perfect. Wii, whatever. The Wii is not that great, but I love the Wii. But I really love playing Castlevania. It makes me feel like an old school gamer again. And that's all I have to say. This, and another thing I have to say, again, this game can top money other than rocking horses such as Galaxy, Rayman, Halo, and even the heck, Grand Theft Auto. Who cares about the mountaining graphics? And play the game for heaven's sake, because the gameplay is awesome. Perhaps, maybe in the future, this game will get award for being the crumbly best music game of the 90s. Or maybe a forgiving masterpiece onto a well hit to Donkey Kong Country, which is DKC. Thanks. Hope you liked the review. Buy it now! Let <laughs>